Hello and welcome to another episode of A Closer Look. In this episode, we will highlight the importance of internet in enhancing learning and teaching in schools, the review on the form and system of government, the election of the Prime Minister by the people, and the Pacific ICT Heads Meet, which took place in Kokopo, East New Britain province. First up, the importance of internet in schools. The internet, with its vast array of information, can broaden the learning resources available for schools by providing teachers and students with connections to remote libraries and government agencies. Since PNG Data Course inception in 2014, they continue to drive connectivity and digital solution in PNG. They have also embarked on providing internet service through the Community Service Obligation Program. Everyone knows the value of uh, internet. Uh, information is there uh, for learning, for teaching, etc. So what we are uh, doing now is enabling the school basically for the teachers uh, to enable them to get materials uh, to be able to teach the students, uh, uh, educate them on up-to-date uh, educational uh, technology or, or or learning materials, etc., and for the students also, for them to access those uh, uh, up-to-date learning materials, so that they can be able to be on par with the rest of the world in terms of learning. Yeah, so it's more to enable them now to be able to teach and learn uh, in a safe, safe manner. Yeah. Between 1994 and 1997, research showed that internet access in public schools increased from 35 to 78 percent. Information found on the internet can broaden students' knowledge base and having internet access can prepare students for an increasingly technological workplace. So far, PNG Data Core Limited has provided internet service to well over 50 education institutions ranging from primary to secondary and all the way to tertiary levels have been providing internet services to over 50 schools now around the country uh, uh, in our CSO program to a value of around half a million already uh, for last year alone that's that's in terms of the capacity that we, we provide for last year alone we've uh, uh, expended around 4.5 million to schools meaning uh, internet plus uh, devices uh, to be able to enable those schools to, to use uh, technology for their learning and, and teaching. One of the schools that recently launched its internet connectivity and was fully commissioned to use this academic year is the St. Charles Luanga Secondary School in Port Mosby. Okay, everyone wave at the drone. Thank you. The school's internet installations were carried out in 2022 and were fully commissioned last week offering broadband internet access delivered on end-to-end -end fiber connectivity, indoor and outdoor Wi-Fi, plus firewall and filtering to ensure clean internet for the students. The school's administration was applauded for having the foresight in utilizing the technology available to enhance teaching and learning. Also note that the capacity we are providing to schools uh, based on last year's uh, assessment is not enough. Uh, we've provisioned 15 megs, 15 megabits, but for this year we decided to double up on all the capacity for all the schools around the country. So you will be expecting to get around 30 megs uh, this year. I'll use this occasion also to make a public announcement that uh, for all the schools that are connected uh, to PNG Data Core throughout the, uh, the country, uh, we will be doubling up on their capacity, simply because we see the demand is there and we need to enable you students and teachers to use digital technology to be able to uh, learn more and then help to develop our country. Principal of St. Charles Luanga Secondary School, Joymon Matthew, express gratitude to PNG Data Core Limited for the vital service provision to the school. It's the first time that school is going to have the internet facilities for our teachers as well as the students. And I am sure that this learning facility will improve 
the teaching and learning in our, in our school. St. Charles Luanga Secondary School is one of the top academic performing schools in the country and Principal Matthew highlighted that the provision of internet to enhance teaching and learning is an added bonus. Year 2023, with the help of the internet, we have set up a new computer lab for the students to do their research. So that from this year, they do their own research in the computer lab with the, facility, with the, with the service provided by the Datacom. The main purpose is to educate all the students, the students those who are struggling. We have a number of students who are struggling with the education because they are coming from different primary schools. The primary schools have got different ways of methods of teaching, so a few students are still struggling. When they come to secondary school, they are not able to understand the basic things of the secondary school. So this system will help them to go into the internet or Google and search and do their best for their studies. Definitely it will improve the, the result of the school. As we already know that Charles Wanga is topping the country for grade 10s and the grade 12s are a bit low, the performance a bit low because of the lack of internet facilities. Now this internet facilities will boost our teachers and students and they will do their best in the education. When asked if there is a set criterion on how schools are being selected for internet service provision by PNG Data Call Limited, CEO Comboy highlighted that there are none and it is up to the schools to reach out to them. There is no specific criteria right now at the moment. Uh, we are trying to establish uh, an MOU with uh, DS and Department of Education to be able to roll out uh, connectivity to all the schools around the country. At this stage, uh, it's uh, the schools approaching us, basically. Uh, those schools that really require uh, internet connectivity for their teaching and learning, approaching us uh, in their own initiative, that's when we go out and support them. With the internet service provided to schools, it is expected that students will have improved academic outcomes by connecting, collaborating, creating and accessing online resources more readily. We now take a quick break and when we return, we highlight the review on the form and system of government.